Πώς το σύμβουν για κάνω. For the first question, we we uh, we get like this. Yes, we are happy with the Catholic faith. It can be made better and deeper by following the rules and regulation which is given in the Bible and by the canon law. Fourth question: Our answer is every month, priests should visit village at least one or twice a month for confession and mass. Third point, by taking catechism classes and preaching in village to village. And for the second question, we have put like this. We can preserve our faith and Catholic traditional by conducting following points, by conducting youth convention every year. Uh, to the second questions, by following seven sacraments and ten commandments to the three we should wear our cultural dress attire every function related to our church and it would be better if we have holy mass in our own language if once in a program and the other question is that I would like to answer that our Catholic our Catholic Catholic social media in today's time what kind of child is going to और उसको सुरक्षा तक लाने में सबसे पहले हमारे हाथों पे ही क्वेश्चंस फॉर द सेकंड क्वेश्चंस वी आंसर वी कैन प्रिजर्व आवर फेथ एंड कैथोलिक ट्रेडिशन इन द प्रेजेंस डे सोसाइटी सिस्टम बाय एजुकेटिंग द पीपल इन ऑल द विलेजेस
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. 
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have a great receive in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I fail to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O oh God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who know you, or Lady, by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Now, after Jesus was born in the Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him, and assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For so it is written by the prophet, and you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother. And they fell down and worshipped him. Then opening the treasurers, they offered him gifts, gold, and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country 
by another way. The Gospel of the Law. It feels uh, really good to be here with such beautiful surroundings. The easternmost corner of India, which the Raja of Assam of uh, 18th century describes in a poem, this land is not like our land. Its sky not like our sky. It stands outside of the circles of the earth and the bowels of the enveloping sphere. Today we are commemorating the solemnity of the Epiphany, the feast of the manifestation of Jesus Christ to all humanity, and the great significance of light for us is unmissable. First of all, the three wise men or the Magi encountered the divine infant by following the route shown by the great light in the sky, a comet. Secondly, Christ the light is the patron of your beloved diocese of Miao. And finally, Arunachala, Arunachal Pradesh is the land of the rising sun in India. May the great light that the people who walked in darkness have seen, according to the prophet Isaiah, illumine each of our lives and remove every sign of darkness from your land and from your heart. Dear brothers and sisters, the Feast of the Epiphany draws our attention to the manifestation or revelation of Jesus Christ, the Savior and King of all humanity, in the form of an infant, and echoes the words of the prophet Isaiah, Arise, Jerusalem, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. In a particular way, in pointing to the light, the prophet is pointing to Christ. And as the light shone for the wise men in search of the newborn Messiah, Messiah it shines today on our path to lead us to worship him who was born king of the Jews. In a certain sense, the Magi were the first to receive the salvation inaugurated by the Savior's birth. From then onwards, men and women of every nation and of every contest in every corner of the earth from diverse cultures, languages and creeds driven by a relentless quest for God have been finding him to worship him and to follow him. The Gospel of today taken from St. Matthew, narrates to us the journey of the wise men guided by the star of wonder, who came from the east. You are the rising star, the rising light, as the sun we have in your country, in your land. And you should shine your faith to others so that can be attracted by you, by your way of living your faith in Jesus Christ. May the Holy Spirit be always with you and accompany you in your Christian life.
dear brothers and sisters, in this uh, auspicious occasion, I would like also to thank all of you for gathering here and welcoming me as the representative of Pope Francis in India. On his behalf, I convey to you his blessings and his greetings and asking you to continue to pray for him and for his ministry. Amen. ตัวเจ้าเป้าหอดเซาพบจิมันมาวางเลยเรเปรเซนต์คุยแกเกมเพอร์อากาศตัวแกก้าวบันจมมั่มมาเลยวันแรกก้าวไอ้จีนเอา
who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost and today is given to you sacramentally in confirmation? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. सब खड़ा हो जाइए अभी हम लोग कन्फर्मेशन का सबसे बड़ा भाग पहुंचा है जहां में हम लोग सब अपना मन से बाकी सब सब सोच विचार दूर करके पवित्र आत्मा हम लोग का ये बच्चों पर उतरने के लिए प्रार्थना करते हैं आप लोग अपना दिल से बाकी सब सब सोच विचार दूर करके मन में प्रार्थना कीजिए एंड द प्लीज प्लीज एक्सटेंड योर हैंड एक्सलेंसी से द प्रेयर My dear friend, in baptism, God our Father gave the new birth of eternal life to his chosen sons and daughters. Let us pray to our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit to strengthen his sons and daughters with his gifts and anointed them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. All that is, please sit down and the singers can sing the hymn to the Holy Spirit.
Gandhi manifests his compassionate love on him abundantly, give him the peace and joy of Christ, and strengthen him always so that he may be able to fulfill the mission that is entrusted to him in India and also in Nepal. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Church, Pali Parambil, the Auxiliary Bishop, Most Reverend Dennis Padipichai, and Archbishop Emeritus, Most Reverend Thomas An Anamparambil, Bishop of the World, that they may be blessed with good health of mind and body, be filled with the peace and joy of Christ, and may always be blessed, strengthened and guided by the Holy Spirit. For this, let us pray to the Lord. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all our seminarians, from the minor seminarians to the deacons, that they may be faithful to their call, serious in their formation, and genuine in their preparation, be good and holy priests. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let us receive, uh, especially you, this confirmance, a special blessing. Boy, your hands and pray for God's blessing. God our Father, complete the work you have begun and keep the gifts of your Holy Spirit active in the hearts of your people. Make them ready to live his gospel and eager to do his will. May they never be ashamed to proclaim to all the world Christ crucified, living and reigning forever and ever. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Offered me.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church in which we are we, we, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations, and when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with all angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Page number 12. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a 
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis our Pope, the Order of Bishops and all the clergy. Remember, our Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, George, Dennis, our Bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Elizabeth
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Page 28. Please, other denominations or other non-Christian, don't receive it. Only for Catholic. Don't know. If this mini has to
Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, is now, and shall be, 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 our youth, our parents, our young men and women, the young mothers, that we may all pass on the light of your faith to our children, to our next generation, that we may all glorify you as the Lord and Master of life, the source of light and the source of life. As we come together this evening, we place before you all our intentions, our desires, our hopes, we thank you for having brought the Apostolic Nuncio among us. We thank you for having enabled all of us to come together. We thank you for the presence of Archbishop Emeritus Thomas Vitas and all our officers who have been helpful and cooperative. We pray for our minister, for all other political leaders, and for all those who have been cooperating with us. Lord, continue to bless us so that we may always be one people in your name, acclaiming you as Christ the Lord, acclaiming you as the Jesus, the source of life and light. Abhi am sab pura time ke liye apna bhasha mein, apna dil se Jesus ko praise and thanks denge. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gift of this day and for all the days that we have had. We thank you for this new year in which we hope to do many things and accomplish great things for you and in your name for ourselves and our families. 
We ask you to ask you to bless us. Accompany us all the days of the day. Bless all those who are sick. So that they may be healed. The Guru is one. Ani ko bhi kama pansa bolte hain ke Guru ka naam kya hai? Guru ka naam chitta ma kuch naam chitta ma 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 We surrender ourselves to you, Lord, today, and we ask you to bless every one of us, to be to make your presence with us as you did with the people of Moses, fire by day, by night, and smoke by day, so that we might see you and live in your presence at all times. Bless particularly our young men and women, so that they may never abandon your ways, abandon your ways, and continue to walk in your ways. Bless our parents, so that they may continue to work hard and give us inspiration. Sasuke 